Did we have that car? Anyway, Edmund thought that we should have a sedan. But my father never liked the sedan. And we only keep it, kept it a couple years. He, would, he wanted the open car. The sedan, you know where the doors were in the first Ford sedan? No. In the middle. In the middle? There was no front door? No front door. No back door? No back door. Just the door? And the uh, a window in the middle, on a door in the middle, in the, in the middle. And you open the door and you squeeze that way or you'd squeeze to go through the back seat. Okay. Okay. You ever, did you ever own a car with a rumble seat in it? I think Roy did. Later. Okay. I think Roy did. That would be about 1930, 31. He had a rumble seat. Okay, what was your first car? Was it a Ford or a Chevy? Ford. It was a Ford. And what what My year? My father never learned to drive a shift. What what year Ford was it? That was his first car. Fourteen. That this isn't it, I this guess. This isn't a 1914. This oh. is a a 19. Uh, yeah, no. Is that a 29? I don't know. It's got suicide doors on it, though. This, this is this, this a Ford? Yes. That's a Ford? Yes. That was That's a, the car Bonnie and Clyde used to use. That was a 34. 30, 34. Was that the one with the first V8 engine? I don't know. Ford came out with a V8. Earlier. 1932. In the in the first B series Ford. For Ford himself did not like a eight cylinder car. Why? The first Ford had an eight cylinder, 1912, and it gave a lot of trouble. Do you know who the first production car of and, the, and we, the V8 we, engine was? We, we, we bought a sedan. We bought a sedan from Boston. My father did not like it because you got in the middle of the car and you squeeze between the two front seats and, and went to the left or right. You left, you went to the driver's side. You went, when you went through the two seats, you went to the right, you sat in the front seat. Mm -hmm. And uh, that bothered my father something awful, having to go in and turn and get seated mm -hmm. in the on the left side, mm -hmm. and to get out, you had to reverse it, of course, mm -hmm. because the door wasn't to your left, it was to your 
shoulder. Mm -hmm. So you had to go back that way to go out because the door on each side of the car was in the center of the car. got out and got in the car, the second car, and they drove off, leaving a car. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Leaving an automobile in our yard by the pump. <laughs> that was something. And the next morning, Edmund knew what to do. Edmund went out, crank it, it started, it started, sure. and drove it to the orchard, and the poor sheep <laughs> were huddled together for their lives. <laughs> Can you imagine what those poor sheep thought? That monster coming in our field, see this is, the orchard at that time was all sod for the sheep, their, their pasture, and the sheep were all huddled together, scared of their lives. That monster coming into our yard, and they were all, it, it's the one that some of them didn't uh, get smothered. <laughs> They were so all, crowded all huddled together on one side of the yard while that monster went across their field down and around in the back. Edmund would drive, then my father would drive, then Wold would drive. They took, took turns driving down round two rows of trees and back. See, it was all sod so that they didn't get stuck or anything, and back. And then the other, then Edmund would take it again, and he would do that himself, drive down, around, and back. And then my father Don't would get like born in those days. Drive yeah. Down, <laughs> around, and back. And then Woolard would get in, and he would drive it. Of course, he was running. Uh, already been cranked to run. It was running. Where were the cops? <laughs> where were the cops? On the motorcycles. Yeah, where were the cops? Did they, everybody have a driver's license? Oh, where were the cops? Yeah. <laughs> there weren't any, I guess. There weren't any cops back then, were there? They were flying around the airplanes to catch people. Helicopters. 